All right, so uh, Henning showed me this little beach called uh, Playa Chiquita, a uh, small beach, and I think this is, really is a small beach as I'm coming out here. It was sunny when I left home. I figured it would be sunny when I got here, but it's not. But I'm going to try to see if I can go in the water and enjoy the water just a little bit. Good morning. It is uh, Monday morning and the workers were out early. Well, almost. It rained really, really hard last night, so they were a little bit late starting up. But uh, today we're starting on the uh, carport roof. And here you can see that they uh, started covering. They started covering the roof right here. So that's the. Uh, that is what is happening right now. You can see our foreman is up there, hammering her down. So Henning says maybe on Thursday now for the um, for the um, pouring up the um, pouring up the ceiling. So that's the plan. Uh, I'm gonna send the drone up so you can see a little bit from up top. Some of you remember uh, several episodes back uh, that we tried to install a switch into the wall, a, um, a uh, smart switch switch so we can control it remotely. Well, it requires a neutral and a ground. Remember that switch didn't have it. Well, Hugo is here today and he is running, trying to run a, um, a neutral from the uh, outlet down below up through the there is a uh, tube a conduit and he's trying to run that neutral wire up to the top so he's been working last night he came by today and uh, that has been the project and here you can see them digging and there's the wire there is the wire look at that congratulations high five high five all right um he's been on this for quite a while so i'm glad we finally got a neutral wire Okay, I'm so, gonna very to soon we'll be able to hook up the switch and be able to control it. All right, so I just finished hooking up the switch. There it is right there. So now we can control it with our phone and I'll show you that in a moment. But right now we got it hooked up, the neutral and the ground together. We'll put the, the, uh, the power in and power out. I'm gonna plug it back in there and we should be done. And at least then we can control our lights on a timer or we can turn them off from anywhere in the world. All right, talk to you later. Go. We got baby banana plants. We got one here, and we got one there. So Alex's uh, banana plants are making progress, and uh, he's getting new ones. All right. So the internet's been out till since noon. Um, I did. I turned off the house because I was checking to see if the meter was still turning after everything's turned off. Uh, some people had complaints that that is a possibility at their villa. But there was no such problem here. But once I turned all the power back on to the house, the uh, router just never connected again. So I've gone down to the um, Welcome Center in Casa Linda and uh, they're supposed to be sending someone uh, here somewhere between two and five to uh, get the internet back up. In the meantime, I'm gonna jump in the pool. I never thought I'd enjoy a pool this much, but I really have enjoyed 
I really have enjoyed our pool here in, at the villa here in Sosua. All right, I'm gonna continue swimming. I'll get back later. Bye. All right, it is uh, Tuesday evening and I am going to go to Castaway's restaurant right here at Casa Linda, part of our property. I'm gonna take the golf cart as long as it starts up and um, I'm gonna have dinner with some of my neighbors. So here we go. Let's see how this thing starts up. And reverse. Okay, not, not too bad. Not too bad. This right here is the uh, outdoor eating area. Outdoor eating of the uh, castaways. And in there, right underneath, is, um, is the indoor dining. It's really all outdoor dining, but uh, it's, uh, it's a little bit more enclosed than it is in here. So I'm just waiting for my neighbors to show up and uh, I'm gonna have dinner. Good morning. It is uh, Wednesday morning and uh, Henning and I are on our way to Santiago. Uh, we're going to pick up paint uh, for the carport and the house. And um, let's see here. Oh, I need an electrical box and sugar and creamer for coffee. I'm out of sugar and creamer. But that's it. Um, so I'm here at a development right outside Sasua and Henning has a quick meeting here with one of his clients and uh, then we'll be on our way to Santiago. It's been raining lots and lots of rain uh, the last few days. Last night again very very heavy rains but that's what it is. It's a tropical island. It's lush. It's not like Aruba where you never get rain. It, uh, it's, it's very very lush. You can see all the palm trees and everything grows here. All right continue in a little bit. All right we just made a quick stop here at Ochoa which is uh, Probably one of my favorite hardware stores. And uh, now we gotta go over here to the, uh, that's the uh, warehouse portion. He's gotta pick up my paint. All right, jumping in the car. Mm -hmm. All 
All right, Hanging, how many gallons of paint are we picking up? How many buckets is I'm it going to fit up, in your car? I'm picking up about 100 gallons of paint. About 100 it's gallons of paint. It was on sale, 20% off. The question now is, will it fit into hey. the truck? Sab, we can bounce Sab on the roof. Uh, no, I'm not going on the roof. Well, it's a free uh, shower, right? <laughs> All right, so now we're here at the warehouse section. Oh. Warehouse section of Ochoa. And Alex and Cynthia, of course, remember this. It's a nice big store, a nice big hardware store. It has a lot of stuff in it. All right, check out this car park. I'm sure they exist everywhere, but I've not seen one of those car park things here in the Dominican Republic. That's something new. All right, so this is the uh, warehouse section. They have a whole bunch of tiles out here, and Henning is picking up the paint. And he said out here they have sections of uh, flooring tiles that are like remnants. So we may end up buying something like that to do the flooring for the uh, the little extra storage room. But you can see here. All sorts of plumbing. This is, this is the warehouse section. There's another warehouse in there, but I didn't get to film in there. So these are all the tiles that are left over from jobs that they sell in sections. Alrighty. Alright, we just uh, gonna stop here for lunch. We're at the price mart. And I've shown that in prior videos, so I'm not going to go through that. But basically, it's the big Costco, and uh, we're going to grab a bite to eat, and he's getting some dog food. And that's the story. All right, bye. Good evening. It is uh, Wednesday evening, and it's the day before we start pouring the roof of our carport. So the carport's right here behind me. Got to move this golf cart so they don't get concrete all over it. But I'm going to go up the ladder and uh, show you all what's, um, what they've done upstairs. The electrician was here today, so um, he uh, should have put all the conduit in for the six lights down here, two of them which are fans, and then there's supposed to be four lights underneath here in the overhang. All right, so bear with me. I'm going to turn it back on once I climb this ladder. <clears throat> All right, so this is this is the top of the carport. So you can see here, this is the uh, the extra room or storage unit, multi-purpose room. And this here is where he put all the, the four lights. You can see them right here. They'll just shine straight down. And then we've got three lights underneath each those areas and you can see the light sockets right there and they put the grid on so they're gonna put uh, the concrete guys can come tomorrow. He's bringing concrete, but they're gonna add some extra concrete cement into that mixture so that it can support another room uh, and terrace up here, which is what we want. I'm going to show you the view from up here. So once we, we get railings up, we'll be able to see the ocean quite nicely. So that's the view we were trying to get when we built this place right here. Is, uh, is to have an ocean view from up here. And we're going to have that ocean view. All right, I'm going to climb back down.
I'm gonna film more tomorrow. I'll send the drone up so it don't get in their way. And uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll have a cement roof. Very well reinforced. Good morning. It is Thursday morning. Today is the big day. We had a big rain again last night uh, and a blue sky behind me, which you can see. But today we are putting the cement on the roof. So I'll be sending up the drone a couple times, at least today, while they do that. That's going to be this morning. But uh, here's my uh, good foreman right here. Um, the electrician, as you saw yesterday, the electrician went up there. He already put all the boxes in. Um, I moved my golf cart. Uh, thank you to my neighbor, uh, Chantel and Paul. They're allowing me to park my golf cart over there in their parking spot. And Henning built their carport as well, which looks very, very nice uh, indeed. All right, so this morning, we're expecting the uh, cement mixer or cement truck to come. It'll be an elevator. It'll push all the concrete up on the roof. And then uh, it's going to have to dry for two weeks. And hopefully I can go back home uh, to the United States uh, on Saturday. That is the goal right now. All right, more later. All right, as you can see, the uh, tower is almost complete. Almost looks like it needs a bell at the top when it arrives. <laughs> but anyway, all right. So anyway, yeah, it's getting close to being complete. Um, so all the functions start here right about uh, 10 o'clock, I reckon. So we'll wait back in a little bit. All right, so this is the little engine that could. It has the cable. Cable goes up to the top. Yeah. That's how it's fastened. Alright, so as you can see, they're almost done with half the roof for the first part um, and laying that first level right here. I'm lying, it's about a quarter of it. They still got a ways to go. But we should be done by about noon, I'm thinking. Um, yeah, I think about noon. Good morning, it is Friday morning, and uh, they have just finished, or starting to pull off the boards off the sides. Part of this is actually going to be a driveway. The driveway is gonna get enlarged, and it's gonna go here, so. All right, it is um, Friday afternoon, actually Friday noon, and I'm going to have lunch with uh, Henning, and was pressure washing this morning cleaning my front sidewalk because they did the roof yesterday and there's so much dirt it was all trekking through the house so I mopped the house vacuumed the house I stopped getting all this dirt coming into the house and uh, so now we're gonna go over here and have some Chinese food for the last time I'm gonna over here to Cabaretti this is the uh, drive 
going down to the main road, but you guys saw that in Savas Wild Ride video. All right, it's Friday afternoon after some good Chinese lunch. We're on a new project. What we have, I got this box in Santiago at Ochoa, a hardware store there. What I want to do is clean up this mess here, which is the uh, eco meter. Remember, we installed that one to measure the electricity, and we want to put it right here. But um, I was not that brilliant. What I did is I drilled through that with the same size bit as the um, as the hole behind it. So now the screw actually falls right through. So unfortunately, I don't have time to go to a hardware store again. I think I'm going to do a, a makeshift thing. I'm going to put one of my water bottle, bottle lids right here and hope I can just get it mounted because I got to fly out tomorrow. I don't have time to go and make another hardware store run. So that'll tie it over until I can get proper washers. So anyway, that's our project for right now. Let's continue. All right, so what we've got now is we've got this right here. We're going to try to drill a hole right through the middle without drilling our finger. All right, just like that. So now when we put the screw in, it'll hold that and hopefully hold that. That really is a redneck way of um, doing things, but I don't have time to run to the hardware store. All right, so we've got it here. Hopefully we can make this thing work. The good news is, I mean, it has, it's holding absolutely no weight whatsoever. It's just that little plastic transmitter there. So now that we've got this in, we're looking like that. And in a few minutes, we'll get this box, get this thing put in there. All right, so what we got, we got the two sensors here. And what we did, I just routed this through here, the sensor wires in here, the antenna. I'm gonna have to put a little epoxy in to get the antenna to stay just like that. Uh, we got the, um, the energy meter right here that tells us how much electricity we're using. All right, uh, looks like we got it all inside. Got it in here, all this is closed up. The last thing we're going to do is I'm going to label this so that it, the next person who comes by, electrician or whoever, knows that what this is. I hate showing up to things and not knowing what is in these boxes. So let's let's go put labels on it. For example, this is the pool pump Wi-Fi. This is the energy meter Wi-Fi, and this right here is the transformer for the pool pool lights. All right. So all right, this is our last label. Which just shows that this is the pool lights. And it's a Wi-Fi timer. Looks like that. And this, we have the sensors in here. We label this for the house Wi-Fi energy meter. I just have to glue down the antenna, and uh, I think then we'll be done. And that is the end of the project. All right, Friday late afternoon, and. Uh, it's been a lot of chores. Uh, we just installed the uh, energy meter cover or housing. So right now I'm going up here. I pressure washed my sidewalk because it was totally covered with concrete and dirt and everything was trekking into the house. Then I mopped the house, I vacuumed the house. Just hate all that dirt in the house. All right. Okay, now we're on top. This is what it looks like now. As you saw yesterday, we were pouring the roof. Um, this is not my house here. This is the pool pump, not pool pump, the uh, well for Casa Linda. They have 11 wells. Let's go to on top of this and see if we can. Without falling or impaling ourselves on these gizmos. All right. So this is what it looks like now. 
This is the overhang right here. It's about a foot, 30 centimeters overhang. This is the uh, sewage line for the, uh, for the room that we plan to put up here. Um, at some point, this is for electric coming up for that room. We have two drains, one drain here, one drain there. Actually, you know what? I think that's the water line coming up right there. Electric is going to come from the breaker box. So that is the story right now. It looks pretty good. Now this is the view we have from up here. Take a look. It's a beautiful view of the ocean from up here. Beautiful view of the ocean. All right, this will be my last evening for a while here in Dominican. I'm flying out tomorrow afternoon and going back to West Virginia, flying to Boston and then uh, with JetBlue and then with uh, Southwest, hopefully. Last flight out back to Baltimore and then drive for three and a half hours to get back to West Virginia. All right. That's the story. That's the story. And that concludes this week's episode of Savas Adventures. If you like these videos, of course, subscribe and like, and uh, you'll be notified when there's more videos. We'll see you again next week.